Hi, my name is Ilma and welcome to my channel. I've been posting Christian blogs 12 straight years every day. Today I'd like to share Exodus 4 verses 10 to 17. Here's the word of God. But Moses said to the Lord, O oh my Lord, I am not eloquent, either in the, in the past or since you have spoken to your servant, but I am slow of speech and of tongue. Then the Lord said to him, Who has made man's mouth? Who makes him mute, or deaf, or seeing, or blind? Is it not I, the Lord? Now therefore go, and I will be with your mouth, and teach you what you shall speak. But he said, O oh my Lord, please send someone else. Then the anger of the Lord was kindled against Moses, and he said, Is there not Aaron, your brother, the Levite? I know that he can speak well. Behold, he is coming out to meet you, and when he sees you, he will be glad in his heart. You shall speak to him and put the words in his mouth, and I will be with your mouth and with his mouth, and will teach you both what to do. He shall speak for you to the people, and he shall be your mouth, and you shall be as God to as as God to him. And take in your hand this staff, with which you shall do the signs. Exodus four ten to seventeen. Here's the poem I wrote, inspired by those verses. God gets angry with Moses. After the signs that God showed Moses to get, get him to go to his people, Moses continued to be doubtful and fearful that he won't be able to do. God gets angry with Moses, an unbelief and lack of trust in him. So God told him to bring Aaron, his brother, to be his spokesperson. Here's my commentary. I can hear God's frustration over Moses' resistance and lack of trust in him. He already showed signs that, he will, that will be done through him, and yet he seemed to be unable to go out, get, get out of that insecurity and fear. Fear always cripples us. We witness here the natural tendency of humans to doubt himself and thereby doubting God as well. If we are given a task to do by God, we fail to see that it is not us doing it, but God. We become people pleasers and approval addicts as we, uh, being uh, approval addict and a people pleaser, are so prevalent in all of us that because we live in a corrupt world so we always self-focused on what we can what we cannot do and we forget that God it's God the one doing it what a difference our lives would be if we only choose to believe and rely on God for everything we witness God's suggestions to hear to, to have Aaron be his spokesperson just to appease Moses' insecurities. But we also see God's anger at Moses' constant unbelief. Reflection. Why was God angry at Moses in this account? I, I'd like to for you to look at it in, in, in a relationship between a child and a parent. When we are teaching our children to do something and they resist because they feel that they are inadequate or insecure. Uh, what do we do? We we try to, as God did here, we try to coax them and to keep them positive about the things that they have. And yet, in this in this instance, God even told him, like reminded him, who gives you the power to speak and, and all these gifts that are given to you? Is it not I? That's what he says to Moses. And yet, we do not hear. Like when, when we are so scared, we cannot hear anything. We can't 
see the positive. We can't think of the positive. We can only think of the worst case scenario. We become catastrophic in our thinking. And so in this case, I think it was only right for God to be angry at him because he already showed him signs what he could do with the staff. And yet there was still unbelief. Because of sin, it's easy for us to have unbelief rather than to believe in God and to rely on Him. We always rely on ourselves. We always get so focused on, oh, what's going to be good for us, what's not going to be good for us. But God is the one who, who has the power to decide which ones are good for us and which ones are not. So thanks for watching. I hope you check my website at ilmaarts.com for artworks, photographs, and a copy of this blog. Please subscribe to my channel on YouTube so I can make more videos and give you the Word of God. If you haven't already, um, please check over 3,000 videos I've done this 12 years I've been doing this daily. Just type on Google or YouTube search, Ilma's Home Devotional. Have a wonderful day.